Alright, it's part two. This is my Mojave. She's in shed. You can see her pink belly. Uh, she's 14, 15. So, I did try locking her up. She locked up with the spider a couple times. So, hopefully I'll get some spider Mojaves out of her. She was hovering around a thousand for a while and she I wasn't gonna breed her but then she she bulked up she started eating again this is my granite dinker she bred with uh, a spider I think she's 1330 she's still eating though so she'll she'll be bigger by the time she gives me eggs if she does who knows she will she lock up with the spider and I think the fire um, the yellow belly is on the small side. I think she's in the 1200 gram range. Yeah, 1185. She's still eating though. She did lock up with my male yellow belly, but I don't know if she'll go or not. Um, I'm not sure if she's gonna go. Oh, yeah, I know, you hate being handled. Ugh. Big ass cinnamon girl. She locked up with the yellow belly a bunch, so she should give me a clutch this season. 2625. Hopefully I'll get like nine or ten out of her. I wouldn't mind a couple of yellow belly cinnamons. Even if I just sold them. I have a new plan for next season. So I'm gonna go get myself a game changer ball. Ugh, this is my Nexus girl. She's in shed right now, but I think everybody's about to do their ovulation sheds. Come on, come on. Get your ass in the t <clears throat> Okay. Uh, she's, oh Jesus. 3,095. I didn't even realize she broke 3K. Dear God. Yeah, she got quite a bit bigger. So if I get five eggs out of her, I'll be angry because she's, she's at least a 12 acre in size. Sorry about how wobbly this video is. I'm just trying to handle these guys, these girls alone, and they're hungry. 2725 on my pastel. She was 1400 grams the first two clutches she gave me. So, needless to say, she should give me more than she did last last two seasons. This girl was 1800 when she first bred for me. She's. 32.35. So, God. I didn't even, haven't weighed them in a while. This is my big sub Saharan girl. Thirty-two fifteen. Thirty-two ten. She hasn't quite bounced back from last season. She was bigger last season, but she's also still pounding down rats. So, looks like my pastel caught up with her. I mean, considering last season she gave me 11 eggs, she should give me more this season. This is my other Sub-Saharan. She's 27.10. So, she was 2200 last year when she bred, and she gave me nine eggs. So, they uh, should give me more this season. Gonna be a good season. I'm actually hoping that all of these girls go. If that's the case, that'll be nine clutches. So, and then next season, well, my basic goal is I'm going to add five or ten new females to the collection. Five females will be breeding size, two at least something I'm not working with. So, I'm thinking about picking up a couple more pastel females. Um, Maybe another Mojave. Uh, we'll see what else. I might even get some normals. Because if I start using triples and quad morphs, males, then I can breed some normals and not worry about it. Um, and I'm going to try to get the money to get a male blackhead. I want a male blackhead. The project is still young, and I want to get it in on it. So... The only combos I've seen are Blackhead Spider, Blackhead Bumblebee, Blackhead Pastel. 
I mean, he has Ralph Davis hasn't even done Blackhead Cinnamon yet, and I think that would be sick. So I want to do that. Um, and probably Blackhead Mojave, because that's cool too. But we'll see. I want to get a male Blackhead. That's what I'm going to do. So hopefully I'll have enough money. Um, with the amount of people I've got lined up to buy, that shouldn't be a problem. And there's always more customers in the future. So, plus next season some of these guys should be ready to go too. You know, my chocolate, my black pastel, my piebald, uh, my butter. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys. Have you guys ever seen a genetic stripe pastel? Because this is my genetic stripe. And she is ridiculous. I mean, look at how bright she is. I'm, I'm just wondering if... I mean, she almost looks like a butter genetic stripe. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe somebody at Outback screwed up and marked her as a regular genetic stripe. Because, I mean, I've seen some genetic stripes and they're brown. You know, they're, they're like poop brown color. And she is not. But either that or I'm just really good at picking out animals. Um... I mean, I, I am, I do pride myself on picking awesome looking animals, because I mean, look at my piebald. He's getting a drink right now, but look at, look how awesome he is. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys some updated weights, and it actually baffled me, or surprised me too. I didn't realize my girls had gotten that big. So it's going to be a good season. Out.